Hey, thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to talk about can you pray if you're not religious? And what on earth would you say if you've never prayed before? There seems to be loads of stuff going around at the moment about can you pray if you're not religious? And yeah, people are really struggling with this question in, in the crisis that we're in. I suppose we've seen a lot of people around us dying. There's been really a heightened sense of fear for so many people. What if I catch this virus? What if I catch the virus and die? We've had loads more time on our hands, or so many people have had loads more time on their hands. No family, no work, no shopping. All the things that we kind of use to make life run as normal have been absent. So we've had more time on our hands. We've got these fears that are at play. And there's people who have been suffering and dying around us. And people who might not normally ask questions about faith or religion are asking them and wondering, can I pray if I'm not religious? Is that something I can do? I, what, what would I say? So I just like to talk about from a Christian point of view, can someone who's not religious pray? And the answer to that is yes, of course you can. Of course you can pray. Because our understanding as Christians is that God has created us in his image and likeness. And that means that he's woven his DNA deep within us, that he has put these instinctual, this instinctual knowledge of his presence in us. And it's not always obvious to us. Sometimes we have to spend a bit of time in quiet and reflection to just to find that connection with God, but it's there. God has placed that in our hearts. And it's like a newborn baby. A newborn baby um, instinctively knows to uh, hold on to its mother and grab its mother's breast. It instinctively knows that. No one's taught it to do that. It's kind of woven within it. It knows how to act in that, in that moment. And it's the same for us with God. We do know how to reach out to God and God wants each one of us to do that because he's created us as his children, each one of us. So he's delighted when we want to talk to him. And it's not about getting it right or wrong. There's no getting it wrong when we talk to God because he's our father in heaven. We just talk to him. We just talk naturally, like we talk to our best friend. That's how we talk to God. And you've probably done that already. If you think you've not prayed before, you've probably said things to God, maybe in, in moments, in quiet moments, where it just came out naturally. Or if, it's, if you've not done that, if you've been resisting, this is a chance just to try it, just to, yeah, just talk naturally, uh, like you're talking to your best friend, the person who knows your deepest, deepest secrets. That's how to talk to God, to open your heart and to, to trust that he's listening because he is, and he wants to hear what you have to say. Now, there's three words, I think, which are the foundation of our lives and make a pretty good starting place. Not even a starting place, because wherever you are on your journey with God, you use these three words. They make a pretty good foundation for a life of prayer, a life of talking to God. And the three words are thank you, help, and sorry. Thank you, help, and sorry. Three words that make life go round. Thank you, just showing kindness to people, gratitude to people, help, I'm vulnerable, I need help, connections are made when we're vulnerable, and to say that we're sorry makes the world go round when we mess up. And these three words are absolutely essential when we're, when we're talking with God. We just say to God, thank you for all that you've given me. Thank you for everything I have around me. Thank you. Even if we're in pain, there are things we can be grateful for. And dredging that, that gratitude up is a key in our, in our talking to God. And then asking for help. That is another essential to say to God, I need your help. I'm tiny, you're big. I mess up. You've got me. Help me. And then sorry. Sorry, God, I've messed up. Sorry, I've got this wrong. Sorry, I've, I don't know. Sorry, I don't make as much time for you as I might. Um, sorry, I'm not bothered with you before. I don't know. Sorry. Sorry, God. And then we can say sorry to those around us if we've messed up with them as well. It's just three simple words. Thank you, help, and sorry, which can really help us when we want to talk to God. So if you've never talked to God before, just encourage you, give it a go. He, he's more than delighted. 
more than delighted for you to do that. Um, well, he's ecstatic actually, so just give it a go. And if you're struggling with what to say, open your heart and say thank you, ask for help and say sorry. Thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please share it with your friends, with your family, that they too can know how to talk to God and find peace in their lives.